Now we're going to pray. And before we pray, we want to read some other miracles that have come into us. This is Shirley from Cedar Bluff, Alabama. She found a bump on the top of her head. It's about a quarter inch tall, big around as a dime. Doctor tested it, it came back cancer. Surgery was scheduled to have it removed. Well, as the date grew near, Shirley called CBN and asked for prayer. Two days later, as she was scratching her head, she felt the skin cancer crumbling to the touch. When, he, when she went back to the surgeon, he did a biopsy of her scalp, looking for any remains. He couldn't find any trace of cancer. So she was so excited, she went home and said, I've got to log on to Facebook and let people know. That's a, that's a wonderful story. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, in 2009, Kathleen of Lovanya, Michigan, she fell down the stairs damaging her spine. Surgery was required to resolve the injury, but afterwards she was left with a residual ache. Then in January of 2014, this year, the agony returned with a vengeance. The pain began in the back and shot down the entire right side of her body. She could barely even walk. Then one day she came across a broadcast of the 700 Club. She'd always been critical of television ministries and had even laughed at them. Just then she heard Gordon, she heard you giving a word, Gordon, of knowledge about someone with back problems and shooting pains down the right side of the body. And you said, mm. God is healing you and taking all of that away. He's able to straighten your spine and release you from all that pain now in Jesus name. All of a sudden the aching in her body vanished. It didn't just lessen. It was gone. And guess what? She's now a regular watcher of the 700 Club. <laughs> God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever, whosoever, that's you, whosoever would believe in him would not perish but have everlasting life. And it's not just for heaven because we get to pray that God's will would be done on earth as it is in heaven. So let's do that. Put aside all your doubts. Just, just say, I want to set them aside. Jesus, I'm here. Could you fill me with your glory? Could you fill me with your presence? Could you do miracles for me? Could you be the Messiah for me? And if you pray that with all of your heart, he'll answer. He'll come. He'll come just for you. You can be a scoffer. You can be laughing at it. He'll still come for you. He loves you that much. So let's pray. Let's just believe God and see what he'll do for you. Amen. Lord, we just lift the needs of the audience to you right now. And we just declare over them that you will supply their every need according to your riches and glory. And so, Lord, for those in need of healing right now, we just come into agreement. Yes, Lord. Wendy and I agree, mm. and we reach out, and we agree with those in need. And your word says, if two or more agree touching anything, it shall be done by our Father in heaven. So we agree. And we agree concerning their healing now. Yes. And we speak over them, be healed yes, and be made whole by the power of God. May there be restoration in every cell of their being now mm. in Jesus name. There's someone you've got uh, a mass in the lower lobe of your right lung and it's causing uh, discomfort. It just feels heavy in there. And there's pain in the upper part of the lung. God's healing you. Mm -hmm. He just took it all away. Took, take that deep breath of joy and realize you've been healed. He, he's restored you now. There's someone with a problem with your aorta and God is healing that. He's opening it up, restoring normal function to your heart. God mm -hmm. is able to heal you now in Jesus' name. Yes. Wendy, what you? Lord, um, there's someone with diabetic pain. It's very severe. God is touching you right now. Just receive that healing in Jesus' name. Also, someone uh, having trouble breathing, uh, very severe asthma, and God is touching you right now in Jesus' name. Lord, we thank you. We thank you. There's someone, it's like you have pain in both of your feet. It's like uh, tiny little needles um, that, that go into the soles of your feet, and God's healing that. He's taking it away. Someone else with a problem with your right ankle, uh, instability in it. You can't 
Uh, you don't trust it with your, the weight of your body. God's healing you. Okay. He's able to heal that. There's someone, you're not an American, but you live in America, and you are just so homesick, and uh, you know you feel like a foreigner, um, and, you're, and God is just touching you. He wants you to know that you're not alone, and that He's going to give you a Merry Christmas, despite the circumstances. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your sacrifice, for your life, the life that you so freely gave yes. for us. We thank you for it. We bless your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you have a good report, if God's touched you, share it with us and, and, and say, yes, I want to give God glory for what he's done for me. Just give us a call, 1-800-759-0700. You can also post it on our Facebook page. And if you need prayer, we're here for you, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We believe in prevailing prayer. If you don't get an answer the first time, keep on praying, keep on knocking, keep on seeking until you get the answer. So we're here for you. We're here to agree with you. So call us, 1-800-759-0700.